The water courses through the rocks, bouncing off the many obstacles in its way, pushing down river with a mighty burst of strength. It courses under a historic bridge, through Appalachian forests, and past small villages as it provides adventure and excitement for everything and everyone that uses it. This water is part of the New River, a river that creates a complex of unique natural features across southern West Virginia in a series of national scenic rivers and recreation areas. And at the center of it all lies a 20th century protected area brought into the 21st century, New River Gorge National Park. The time, unknown. The place, the Appalachians. The Taze River, a remnant of an inland sea, flows quietly through the valleys of what is now West Virginia, slowly carving out a dent in the mountains it passes through. Over millions of years, this dent widens and deepens, becoming a gorge. Then, an ice age. Glaciers spread across North America, damming up the river and forcing it to divert its path. This new path is known as the Ohio River. As the most recent ice age ends, the Taze River sets its course to the large West Virginia Gorge and is renamed the New River. However, the National Park contains treasures in all places, not just above the ground. Tucked away inside the massive mountains lies coal, a source of wealth for many. After driving the native peoples away in the 18th and 19th centuries, towns like Prince spring up along the shores of the New River, and many settlers set up shop in the area in hopes of striking it rich. And they do. West Virginia becomes the highest coal-producing state east of the Mississippi River, and still is to this day. In the 20th century, the gorge takes on a new moniker, Military Camp. During and after the Korean War in the 1950s, the camp is used as a place to test out a new type of technology, the floating bridge. However, by the beginning of the 1960s, the camp has fallen into disrepair and is dismantled. But a different type of bridge is just beginning to be built, and it is an architectural masterpiece. The New River Gorge Bridge, completed in 1977, is the longest single arch bridge in the Western Hemisphere, spanning over 3,000 feet and reaching to a height of over 800 feet. It would be only a year later in 1978 when the bridge and 70,000 acres of land along the West Virginia Gorge would be protected as New River Gorge National River. So what is there to do at this spectacular park? Perhaps you wish to jump right into the excitement of the New River and try to raft your way through the whitewater rapids in the gorge. Or maybe you're interested in exploring some of the local mines which made men into misers. Or don't even leave your car and travel along the river rim, taking in the scenery in all four seasons. The park offers much to do. Among the rapids of the river cascade waterfalls, which attract many visitors to watch the water burst forth on exciting displays that appeal to the eyes. The largest of the falls, Sandstone Falls in the southern part of the park, spans the length of the New River, over 1,500 feet. Another pair of popular activities offers a chance to meet some of West Virginia's wildlife up close and personal, fishing and hunting. Bass, walleye, crappie, and bluegill all swim the waters of the New River, and if you're lucky, you'll scare a catch. In the woods of the New River Gorge are mammalian prize, white-tailed deer common across North America and abundant for hunters during deer season, which occurs during the fall each year. The New River Gorge became a national park on December 27, 2020, as a part of a bill to help support people during the middle of one of the biggest and most widespread pandemics in the history of the United States. Although the national park wasn't directly meant as a means to support people in crisis, it does represent a successful effort to ensure that the people of the United States and the world will be able to enjoy themselves going forward in a place of solitude and an underappreciated gem in America's 63rd National Park. Today we leave you with a quote to reflect on and to think about until next time. National parks are the best idea we ever had. Absolutely American, absolutely democratic, they reflect us at our best rather than our worst. Wallace Segner